What's up everyone? Um, today I actually just decided to make this video because uh, I kind of just thought about, uh, I was going to actually originally uh, start playing more Last of Us, but um, I kind of cha changed my mind decided just uh, I'll actually continue that game tomorrow. So all this week will actually be the Last of Us Marathon so I can try to finish the game and move on to other stuff. But um, anyway, I decided to make this video because uh, I wanted to kind of compare like, because it kind of made me think about just kind of the we're just kind of going through all my old games from back in the day that I actually have and just uh, comparing like the new new generation games and it just kind of made me think about uh, maybe I should just kind of talk about just what I think about the old generation games versus the new generation games that actually have to come out and um, as you guys know of course that it's a lot of been, it's been a lot of games that actually been coming out over the course of the years and um, throughout all the gaming history and it's been a lot of games but um, I just kind of wanted to talk about my thoughts and how I feel towards uh, about the old generation games from back in the day and then the new the current generation games and uh, as you guys know the new Xbox One and the PS4 is actually coming out so that's going to be a new generation of games that's actually going to be a, a new generation of lineup of games that are actually going to be coming out from the years to come forward from here on out. So I wanted to actually kind of talk about uh, how I feel about the games and what I kind of prefer because uh, in my opinion because I know most of you guys are probably thinking that when you guys think of the old generation games you have like the Nintendo 64, the PS1, the PS2, the GameCube and maybe the original Xbox here and there and maybe even uh, further back from the older consoles like Dreamcast, Sega Genesis and maybe the Game Boy Color and everything like that as well and then you have the new generation of games like the PS3, the 360 and the Nintendo Wii and the, uh, the Xbox One that's actually coming out also in the PS4 uh, this year, later this holiday season and stuff, whenever they actually come out. But um, anyway, um, I kind of wanted to kind of talk about how I feel. And when I kind of think about these new generation games, I think that some of these new generation games that I actually come out with, they're good and all, and they actually have updated graphics and everything. The gameplay is even more even more realistic. You have that just kind of like that real, realistic kind of feeling when you actually pick up a game. Like some of these new generation games, for example, like I actually have a couple I'm actually going to kind of talk about. And I want to actually start with Uncharted 3. So this is kind of the most realistic games to actually come out with uh, the PS3 and this is if you guys actually uh, realize this is one of the best PS3 games to ever actually come out and it's also like a new franchise they kind of came out and kind of started when back when the PS3 actually was first came out with with Uncharted Drake's Fortune so this is kind of the third game from the uh, pretty much the last game but I know they're actually probably going to be in talks from what I actually rumor heard rumors of actually Uncharted 4 is actually in talks and actually the making and development for uh, the PS4 but this is a game like one of the real most realistic games to ever come out with uh, for like the new generation games. So not only this, Uncharted, uh, you actually actually have games like Uncharted, Killzone, Halo, uh, Gears of War, whatever you actually like to play. You know the Call of Duty series and everything like that. And those games were actually come came out like the newer generation consoles, and they kind of came out with like better graphics, better storylines and everything like that and better gameplay and everything's just more realistic and you had that realistic feeling almost like you're playing a movie and you're watching the movie almost and as you kind of experience the game but when I kind of think about the old consoles and old generation games in my opinion and also I'm actually going to talk about that I kind of actually prefer to like I actually like the older generation games more than the new generation games because some of these new generation games are not really turning out to be good like for example they're adding like unnecessary content and additional stuff to these games that are actually good for their single player they're actually great as single player games that in their own merit and they don't really kind of really need like multiplayer in it like for example I'm not gonna try to go on Last of Us because I know Last of Us is a good game and um, they actually are starting to add multiplayer for most of these single player games that are actually great and when you kind of think of these kind of single player games you would think that they're actually great and campaign wise when you actually play through the campaign single player campaign and you would think that that's all they're pretty much going to have for the game it's going to be a single player game it's just going to be campaign only and everything like that and you'll probably get a couple bonus weapons here and there and DLC to the game as well but then they add all they add on multiplayer to it and I kind of think of like that Assassin's Creed series are kind of in my opinion because I think that the Assassin's Creed series kind of fell off in my opinion because they started kind of 
adding multiplayer to it. And back when the old ones actually came out with the first Assassin's Creed, I don't know if you guys actually like that game, but it kind of turned out to be a great game still. And some of those original Assassin's Creed games from Assassin's Creed 1 to Assassin's Creed 2, and then they started coming out with Assassin's Creed 3. And they started adding, they still kept adding that multiplayer content to it. And I don't really think some of these games that actually don't deserve, they don't really need these. I wouldn't want to say they don't deserve multiplayer, but I don't think that it's really necessary for them to actually kind of add multiplayer content to some of these games that are actually great as single player games only. And it doesn't really need like multiplayer online capabilities and everything like that when they're actually good at single player games. And um, when I kind of think of the old generation games, and I actually kind of would like to compare these two, here's a, uh, I actually have a couple here right now I'm going to actually kind of talk about, but I also have Zelda Ocarina of the Time. So when you guys think of like the old generation games, I think of kind of also like Zelda Ocarina of Time, which this is like one of the best games to ever come out in all of gaming history, and it's still one of the best games today in my opinion. And I think that some of these new generation games have yet to kind of top this uh, this game, Zelda Re Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64, sure, they actually made a remake of it for the 3DS, but still, it doesn't have, like, when you kind of think of this game, like, sure, oh, Zelda Ocarina of Time is a very old game, and most people are not probably playing it anymore, probably most people don't even have the game anymore, and most people didn't even bother buying it for the 3DS because they thought it was the same game, but I really think that this is one of the greatest games to ever come out. And it not only awarded like a, a, a generation award and it kind of deserved it because it was a great game and it went down it's as a top tier game. Sure, it doesn't have like, it might not have the best graphics, but the gameplay and the story wise, um, it, it turned out to be a great game. Like when you kind of compare these two games, Zelda Ocarina of Time and then Uncharted 3, Uncharted 3 has the most up, more realistic graphics and everything like that and more updated gameplay and probably just a better story. But I would think that Zelda Ocarina of Time can still kind of hold a candle and have a chance against games like Uncharted 3, Killzone, Halo, and Gears of War because it actually is a top tier game regardless of how it looks um, from the graphics. Graphics wise, it might not be as good, but you would pretty much have that top tier fun factor with the game when you go to play it. You will have fun playing it. It's a great story. It's a, it's a nice lengthy game, pretty long, and a game that you will actually enjoy. And some of these other games from back in the day, some of these old generation games I also have I would like to share um, from, in my opinion, as I kind of went through some of my games. You have Final Fantasy X, which also is a great game from back in the old generation of systems for the PS2. This is also one of the best systems, one of the best games to actually come out for the PS2 itself. And it was actually good in its own merit. Um, I know most of the Final Fantasy games also from the PS1, when I actually think of Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII is also one of the greatest games to actually come out from one of the old gens. Oh, I'm trying to make this uh, this fall to uh, case because it's pretty old. But uh, some of those other games like that are actually pretty good from back in the old generation. And I don't think some of these new generation games that they're actually coming out, for example, with they already came out with like the PS3 and Xbox 360, for example, if I was to actually think at the top of my head, games like Haze, Amy, Brink, um, I don't know about Bulletstorm, I don't know if you guys really like that game. Um, Let's see, those, those kind of games were actually, believe it or not, were actual P PS3 and Xbox 360 games that actually came out for this current generation of games. And probably most people probably are probably surprised and probably never heard of those games and never played those games before. But those games didn't really turn out to be as good. The games had problems, bugs, glitches, audio bugs, here, this, that, and the other. Just pretty much game problems and um, experiences of actually trying to enjoy the game. But they kind of made the game kind of unplayable with the the numerous problems they actually have with the glitches and bugs and everything like that as you kind of try to experience the game you try to have fun but you just don't want to play those games anymore because they turn out to be disappointments and they end up flopping and everything but when I kind of think of these old generation games I think that some of those games putting those uh, generation those games that I just kind of named just now from those games that actually have problems from Brink Amy to Haze and Bulletstorm and stuff like that to all those other games like current games like Final Fantasy X that I just showed, Zelda Ocarina of Time, and then I have some um, two others I would like to show. I have many more I could actually show, but I just wanted to show uh, you guys a couple of video games uh, from old gens that are actually my favorite, and I'm also thinking about actually playing them on my YouTube channel as well. But you also have these two great games. You have uh, another great PS2 game that was a, a great hit because everybody loves the Crash Bandicoot series, and then you have a Mario series from which was one of the best games 
and by far one of this is my this is the best game for the GameCube next to Super Smash Brothers Melee in my opinion and I think this these old generation games can really kind of beat out some of these new generation games that are actually coming out with currently and everything like that and when you kind of think of some of these old generation games and like sure they bring back memory but bring back memories and everything like that and give you that nostalgic feeling to it but where are these new games that they're actually going to come out with like for these new current generation consoles that they're coming out with like the xbox one or for the uh the wii u the ps4 like where are these new generation console games are they going to make these are they going to make remakes for these games or are they going to just kind of stop making them and another classic game i actually kind of love and I actually, um, I still actually have, which actually was one of my favorites, is uh, I still actually have the Super Mario Deluxe Edition for the Game Boy Color. And I don't know if anybody else, I don't actually have my um, Game, Play, Game Boy Color anymore because I don't have it anymore. So um, I still kind of keep these kind of games. And these were, one, in, my opinion, in, in my opinion, these games were actually some of these great games that are top tier and I can actually stand a chance and hold a camera to some of these new generation games. I don't know how you guys feel about, do you guys like the, do you guys prefer the new generation games over the old generation games? Do you guys think that they're actually better? Uh, I'm not going to say that all, all old generation games are actually better than the new generation games because uh, some of these new generation games that actually came out with, like again, Uncharted, um, Halo, Gears of War, and everything like that. As long as, uh, along with uh, Killzone and everything like that, and the new Call of Duty, Black Ops 2, and, you know, Call of Duty 4, and everything like that. And I know those other games, previous Call of Duties, used to be on those older generation consoles, but some of these new generation Call of Duty games can still beat out those other ones because they're way better and everything. It has a much better gameplay experience. But in my opinion, what I would actually like to say is that um, I don't really kind of go on like IGN for all the score reviews because they don't give like legit score reviews and legit reviews to these games because I think they kind of don't really play the game and just kind of experience the game it's hands on. I think they just kind of judge the game so quickly based on how it looks because looks can be deceiving and just because a game doesn't look as good, it doesn't mean that it's not a good game. And to me, gameplay makes a game and to me, graphics don't really make a game actually good. Because uh, if you guys actually think about it, uh, if I were to actually name those two games that are, don't have as good as graphics as all these new generation games such as Uncharted, etc. and everything like that, I would name Final Fantasy VII for the PS1 and then I'll actually throw out Zelda Ocarina of Time for the N64, for, um, which are two top tier games that are really great and um, pretty much the best games to actually come out in gaming history. They don't look good as graphic wise when you actually go to play the game and experience the gameplay and everything like that. But they actually can still hold a candle to some of these new generation games and some of these current generation games they're actually coming out with are not really turning out to be as good. And I don't really kind of judge a game based on its score because believe it or not, they kind of did like um, one of the JRPGs I used to play um, that I actually used to have for my PS3. I actually bought Cross Edge uh, for the PS3 and I went on the IGN to actually look at the score and they kind of gave Cross Edge a 3. Um, as the overall score and I was like I was kind of looking at the gameplay the gameplay was fun the graphics were great the story I enjoyed the story and everything and I just kind of looked in really in depth and just kind of checked out the game and try to learn how find out what pretty much what the game was about and I went and bought it and I really liked the game and that's what kind of made me not believe IGN scores like sure I would agree like the, the score of Last of Us I think it deserves a perfect 10 because it's a great game um but I would, I really don't really kind of go on IGN to actually when I want to kind of pick out a game and when I want to decide whether a, good, a game is good or not. I don't really kind of go on based on a. I don't choose a game and just buy a game based on how it looks graphically. I just like, I just pretty much um, think about a game when I want to get a game. I want to make sure the gameplay is good. Is it fun? Is it enjoyable? Is the story great? I don't really care about the the graphics or how it looks because even if a game may not look as great, it can still turn out to be a good game overall, overall regardless of how it looks. And that's just how I feel about some of these old generation games if I was to actually kind of compare the old generation games versus the new generation. So I don't know what you guys kind of think about the new generation games that they're actually coming out with today. Are they actually good enough? Would you actually say that they're actually good enough to actually hold a candle to all these, uh, these older generation games that I kind of actually kind of showed off and kind of talked about? Or would you kind of say that you would just kind of judge them in a 50-50 basis in regards to how they, how good they are and just kind of 
because in my opinion, I would just kind of put the old generation games a little bit over the new generation games because some of these new generation games are just kind of not not cutting it to me, and I'm not kind of really liking how they actually turned out to be because they're really kind of. I really think that the developers are kind of starting to mess up and kind of add some unnecessary stuff that into these new generation games to like these new sequels and everything like new multiplayer again like do you, do you think that some of these new sequel games actually need the multiplayer in them or do you actually think that they're actually good in their own merit as single player games so i don't know what you guys actually think about the new what you guys think about uh what you guys actually prefer like the new generation games or the old generation games but i just really think that in my honest opinion that some of these old generations um games can still beat out some of these new generation games some of them but i'm not going to say all of them but that's just how i feel so i don't know how you guys feel about um the current generation versus the some of those great games from back in the day like chrono trigger and um Zeno gears and everything like that so that were actually classes and earthbound and everything like that so um that's just pretty much how i feel and that's pretty much it for this video so i hope you guys enjoyed it and that's just pretty much how i feel so um feel free to state your opinions and thoughts on how you feel about the current generation games and new generation games so that's pretty much it so thanks for watching